in this video we will see the uh, instruction types uh, based on the operation of the instruction types in the previous video we have seen the uh, the, the instruction format types based on the length of the instruction whether it is a zero address instruction or a one address instruction, two address instruction, and three address instruction. In this video, what we are going to say based on the operation, what operation that particular instruction will do, based on that, what are all the types of instructions? Broadly, they are divided into data transfer instruction, arithmetic operations, logic operations, branch, machine control operations. If you take any language also, you have that type of instruction. So, for example, data transfer operations, you can say that assignment operation. So, A equal to B plus C means B value, B and C values are added, and then it is stored in C. Even that comes under arithmetic operations, where just assignment operation, variable assignment, A equal to 5 means that comes under data transfer instructions. Arithmetic operations, when you say any arithmetic is involved, Okay, addition, subtract, whatever arithmetic. Those things come under arithmetic operations. Then logical operations, comparisons. If you have if classes. If even in for loop, you will check for condition uh, whether the loop has exhausted or not. All those things. So those things will come under this. Then branch operations. Based on that, you go to all those things. So those things will come under the branch operations, jumping and all. Machine control operations are that. That is to complete the program, uh, a stop, then some interrupts, all those things comes under the machine control operations. So since 8085, here I'm going to, I'm discussing about only the microprocessor, basic microprocessor 8085. So this consists of, uh, this is an 8-bit device. So it has 256 instruction, which is nothing but since it can store, memory location is 8-bit and all the registers are also 8-bit except very few memory reference bit, which is nothing but 16 bit. Uh, uh, so we can say that it is 2 power 8, which is nothing but 256 instructions are there. Out of that, a total of 74 instructions they represent. Those 74 individual instructions, the co combinations will give 246 combinations. We'll see what they are. Data transfer operations. These operations simply copy the data from the source to the destination. That's what. So they simply copy from source to destination. We do the copying. Source will not be disturbed. So here the data transfer may involve data transfer between registers. Say for example, one register to another register or from register to memory location or from memory location to register or from any input output device to and the accumulator. Okay, now we'll see the data in the source is not in any point of time only the destination is changed so it is merely a copy actual movement of data is not there it is only copy but we call it as a data transfer so some of the data transfer instructions are lda lda means load the accumulator sta means store the accumulator value then move ldax stax all those things comes under time being you just know these are all the instructions given in the 8085 microprocessor lxa is load immediate MVAS move immediate. STAX is uh, store the value of accumulator indirectly. All those things I'll explain when it comes to the addressing mode. This you know, these are all the operations. These are all the instructions available for data transfer operations. Next comes the arithmetic operations. So they say what whether addition, subtraction, or compare operations has to be done. These operations are always performed with the accumulator as one of the operands. So implied, accumulator is implied. So with the accumulator only, they will carry over the addition or subtraction or comparison. The status of the result can be verified since it involves the, any AL operations, arithmetic and logic operations, they affect the flag register. Whereas in the previous one, data movement will not affect the flag text. Some of the examples are add ADA, add immediate, add, then sub SBA, I increment, INR, DCR, decrement. So here some of the arithmetic instructions are increment. This is for, uh, say for example, here INC increment, decrement, add, sub, multiply. They, you will represent with these three letters. Okay. Add with carry means ADDC, subtract with borrow, SUBB, 
negate NEG, that is complement. Then we'll see the logical operations. Some of the logical operations are, you know, and, and operation, and with accumulator, and immediate, ORA, that is OR operation, OR with accumulator, OR immediate, XRA, do an XOR operations. You know, already we have studied the XOR operations. So for that, not do that is XRA, XRA, CMA, CMC. CMA is complement accumulator, complement with carry. Then RA is rotate, rotate, uh, rotate instructions. Okay. This is rotate left, rotate uh, along with the carry, without carry. Then RAR and RRC is rotate right with carry, without carry. Then CMP is compare. Compare the accumulator with the value given in the register or compare the value with the data given in the instruction itself. Any I represent the immediate. I will, we will come to this. What is this immediate instructions and all? And or they are all doing and operations and rotate. Each bit in the accumulator can be shifted either left or right to the next questions. Compare. Any 8-bit number or the content of a register or memory locations can be compared for equality greater than or less than with the content of the accumulator. Logical and bit manipulation instruction. Clear. If you give ECLR, it will clear all the values in the accumulator. Then complement, COM. Then AND, OR, XOR, CLRC. Clear with carry, set carry. Complement carry, COMC. Enable it, interrupt, disable This instruction is what I'm saying that this is given by the manufacturer. Based on the respective microprocessor, you should learn this and when you want to do coding, you have to adopt this mnemonic only. Shift instruction, shift left, shift right, SHR, SHL, then arithmetic shift right, SHRA, arithmetic shift left, rotate right, rotate left, ROC, ROLC, etc. Then instruction set. Uh, here, branch operations or program control, do while loops, all those things, similar to that. So these instructions are used to transfer the program control to jump from one memory location to another memory locations within the program from one program to another program called subroutines. Say, for example, you will be having a main program. When you want to write a factorial, factorial of a number, you may write it as a function. That function, what we call it as a subroutine here. So not normally when a function is called, uh, it will go, the control will go to that function and whatever is set in the function, the operations will be done and the value written by the function is written to the main program. That is what here we say. After alters the sequence of program execution, either conditionally or unconditionally. Is when you give a uh, jump statement, the whatever is followed after the jump statement will be skipped, isn't it? That is what altering the sequence of the program execution. And we have unconditional branch instructions and conditional branch instructions. Based on them, some condition only, you can jump. Or just if you give go to, without condition, it moves. Whenever it, that particular statement is coming, immediately it shifts. So without any condition checking. So that is what unconditional branch and conditional branch. We have call and return statement for this uh, in this microprocessor, we have call and return statements. So conditional branch statements are that jump on no carry. That is based on the result. If the result is uh, produce some carry, then you have to jump. If there is no zero, if it is no no carry, you no need to jump like that. We have all these instructions: jump on no zero, jump on zero, jump on parity, parity bit, jump on my positive and minus, jump on parity even, jump on parity odd. All these uh, flag bits I have already explained. So based on those conditions, flag bit conditions, you can jump. Exude this jump in sections. You can use them in the program. This is also some, uh, that is called call, calling to your subroutine. If the result is set to carry, then you can call this in CC, CNC. CN is that is call when uh, uh, no zero. Here call on zero like this. Then here return. Once you it return, it goes to the subroutine based, you will be doing some manipulations in the subroutines. So when it returns to the main program, for that also we have the conditional return. The program control, some of the program control instructions in this are branch, PR, jump, skip, call, CALL, return, RET, compare, CMP, then test, TST by ANDing. So instruction set conditions. So these are all the machine control. The halt means Whenever it sees this operation, immediately it stops the program. 
so to hold the cpu no operation means uh, the the particular line will not do any operation that is what no nop sim these are all the uh, control statements a uh, time being there is no need for me to explain all these things but these are all the instructions available and ea and dr enable interrupt and discipline again when it comes to the interrupt i'll explain this data transfer instructions this instruction copy the content between registers between memory register etc this now we have seen so load ld store is for storing move and exchange in out push and pop these are all related with the memory stack memory then eight addressing mode for the load instructions here these are all for direct address and direct address and all this i will explain now we'll see some instructions as an example here move copy from copy from source to destinations this is the op code and this is the operand rd is for destination or as for source okay when you give this execution the value present in source will be copied to this destination so when you give this is a uh, m comma rs means let us say this is pointing to memory location so this uh, the, uh, register is say some b move uh, let us say move b comma c example is given here move b comma c means b is a register and c is a register this is for register is here here register and memory here move b comma c means the value the content in c that is source is moved to b it is not actually moving the value is after moving also the value is present so it is just copying the value present in c register is copied to b register so after the execution of this both b and c will have the same value now we'll consider this equation this uh, instruction this is referring some memory location so memory location say imagine m is pointing to 2001 means after this execution the value present in 2001 say some value is present 45 65 like that that value will be copied into b now let us consider this before execution and this is after execution let us take uh, before execution 20 h is there these are all the register value move b comma a so the value in accumulator is moved to b see after execution it will be like this a also will consist of 20 okay this is also 20 will be there okay here also 20 will be there now let us consider move b comma m here b is having 40 okay then what is the value present in m m is 2051 that is hl register we have on a register called hl Uh, other than a b c d e we have hl hl mostly hl will point will give the memory location it is together can be called as m so uh, it is a 16 bit this is 8 bit this is 8 bit so together it can form a 16 bit address so when you give this instruction b comma a it will check this hl hl pair the value which is given here is considered as a memory location and it will go there so whatever data present there that will be taken and moved to uh, the value present in b is moved to m yeah. so value present is here is 40 so what happened after execution of this the value present in b is moved to memory which is where the memory location is given here so now 40h after execution then c comma m yeah. m for m i uh, already told you whenever we give m yeah, it always refers to the hl pair because in hl whatever is given that will be taken as a memory address it is a register pair even if it is 8 bit 8 bit together it will be considered when you refer it as m so it is considered as a 16 bit that is a register pair and then this will be considered as a 16 bit 20 is an 8 bit this is an 8 bit so 2054 now it checks for that memory locations and whatever data that will be manipulated so now here what is the instruction move c comma a so the value present in m is moved to c now for here for this value where it, where the memory is that it will take this value so it goes that 2054 32 will be taken and c will consist of this value so after execution register is like this now copy Move uh, another another type of instruction. Just now I have said immediate. Okay, move immediate. 
when you say move immediate data is present here in the previous case see here mva b 70h so the value is present here itself immediate so this data is moved to b whereas here it has to refer when i say b comma a means it has to move, go to the a register take that value and move to b here also it has to take the value from the memory locations and move to uh, this value will be moved to b here it has to take the value from memory location and move that value to c this is what we have seen whereas immediate means the data is present here that is called immediate addressing whereas here it is called direct addressing what is direct addressing data is not present in the instruction itself it has to take it from the memory location where the memory location is present here or it has to take the value from the address which is mentioned in the instruction this is called direct addressing whereas this is called immediate addressing okay so here 50 after execution of this line the value 50 is moved to memory location which is again pointed where this value is given in hcl file okay next one see here mvib 70h means uh, 70 the value 70 up before execution it may be like this after execution the 70 is copied to b the before execution it is 25 after execution it is 70 it is overwritten then mvi m43 so this is a memory location whenever there is an m comes it is a memory representing memory location so for this it takes the value from hcl pad so now it goes there in 2051 this 43 is moved to that so now it will be like this after execution 43 is copied to this memory location where the memory location is given in hcl pad now copy from source destination this is another type of instructions load accumulator okay with the 16 bit address so now we give lda 200h this is a memory location so after the execution of the statement whatever is present in the memory location 200h that value is loaded into the accumulator see here mva now all these three instructions are given mvib is 70h now again after execution it will be overwritten then 43 is this it refers and this value is loaded now lda 2054 means here when there is an m it will refer h but here the address memory address itself is given so what happened 2054h it go and see here 32h and that value is loaded into the accumulator before that it is 20h after that now it is straight now if you see this instruction this is a two address instruction because mvib occupies one memory location and 70 occupies another memory location whereas here this itself occupies one memory location 20 is an another 8 bit which occupies another memory location and 54 occupies another memory location so it is a 3 bit 3 byte instruction